When it comes to people I have weird experiences with, the list is longer than I would like. I got people who hate me, people who treat me like I'm this 8th dimensional being, and people who has to date me after knowing me for like 12 minutes. Uh, just to make it clear, I I'm really not interested, but out of all those people, by far the second weirdest person I've interacted with is the Blue Puffball. You probably know him from some YouTube videos recently, but I feel those videos left out some interesting details, and I actually have the advantage of knowing the guy. It's such a wild story, so let's look back on this really weird event from two years ago. Hey, yo, look who fell asleep first. Prank him, John. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was November of 2022. I started work on my Rise and Fall of Cosmic video. I see this video on YouTube called My Message to Mr. Ryan. Now, to those watching, I have actually gatekept this video for two years now. It was by accident. I, I had it in a folder and I completely forgot about it. I was going to use it in case it was going to work out in my Rise and Fall of Cosmic video, but it was taken down later, so let's take a look at this opening. We're gathered here today to mourn the death of Mr. Ryan and the Thomas the Tank Engine fan server. The Thomas and Friends community has never been so popular and so huge if it weren't for the clever minds of our wonderful community members that made it possible. I am, of course, talking about the one and only Mr. Ryan. If you know what happens later on, this might give you PTSD. The video is so weird. It's just him going, My fellow Americans, I do simp. Or cosmic. When I watched this, I found it weird how this guy was acting like it was such a big deal. Like, yeah, you're sad about it. I, I totally get it. But since he's talking like a US president, it makes it sound like a bigger deal than it actually is. But it's not like the video adds anything. Before I end this elongated speech, there's just one thing I want to add. As a parting gift from all of us, I have just opened up Okay, a huh? Party. I remember Tons was really upset about this guy who made a GoFundMe without having a way to give Cosmic the money. Like, it's so dumb. And if it wasn't for Tons telling him to take it down, he would have kept it up. Also, like, Cosmic's channel was allegedly hacked and told it wasn't just him privating all his videos to stage a hacking, but he did get his videos back and he got the money from the Kickstarter. So why would he need a GoFundMe? He still has his main channel for income, and nobody unsubscribed from him. It's just such a dumb decision. But I was desperate for any possible contact with Cosmic to get an interview, so I joined the Blue Puffball's Discord server. Now the server has been deleted, and I don't really have any archives of this stuff, mainly because I didn't have time to archive everything, but I'm going off of memory here, so some things could be inaccurate. I joined the server, and the Blue Puffball and others were hyped I joined. Turns out he watched my videos, and I was told that Cosmic made a Discord server for his rebrand entity, but I was provided with like zero proof. Cosmic did join the server at one point, but it didn't seem like it was for that long. The server got me absolutely nowhere, and in a universe where it did, I probably would have credited the blue puffball for making that video happen. I did find a way to contact Cosmic, but I stayed on that server and joined some calls every now and then. This one call I joined, Puffball talked to me about this video he made where he called out this really bad person, and it was like a video he was super proud of. I told him something like, you know, cool, I'll, I'll check it out later. Little did I know, that this video exposing a bad person was an 11 year old kid. Now this one is like the most extreme example, which I'll get into later, but let's talk about another kid. There's this kid who made their channel having the blue profiles profile fixture in it instead of their own. Instead of doing the reasonable thing like ignoring it or asking them to choose a different one, the blue puffball instead had the kid's channel terminated. I don't even think he's lying either because when I re-uploaded his famous clip, he originally gave me a copyright strike. This guy went after literal children, and also just to let you know, from what I know, he's born in the year 2000. He was 22 years old when this happened! But let's take a look at the video he made about an 11 year old. I come to make an announcement, Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch ass motherfucker. The video starts with the kid allegedly starting drama again. Then we get the surprise cameo of TTTE guy? Why is he here? I think you watch my channel, TTE guy, so like, if you want to talk about your experience with the blue puffball, I'm interested. Drop it in the comments. The time has come. The time is swell. Listen up, kid. You're going to hell. Whoa! Whoa! Imagine telling a kid they are going to hell. How heartless do you have to be to do that to a kid? 
ever since I've been on YouTube, I've dealt with people in comments telling me I should like kill myself, I'm awful, you know, stuff like that. But I've never had a 30 minute video that opens like this all about me. I couldn't imagine dealing with that at 11 years old. Disclaimer, the following video contains lots of swearing and other nasty stuff not meant for a general audience. However, we still encourage kids to keep watching this video to better understand- Disclaimer, this is not kid appropriate. But you should still watch it. And to show the hype behind this project, here's a list of all the people that helped support this video. All right, looking at this credits list here, who do I recognize? We got Josh Productions, someone I knew since I first joined YouTube. Aiden the Wolf Engine, someone I don't like. Caleb? What did Caleb help with his? I'm interested. Now, this could all easily be what he did to me and put all these people here without asking them to be here. So don't go send hate to anyone here. And even if they didn't know about this, still don't send hate. Next, we get the kid's origin story, where for some reason, Puffball goes into the kid's real life and then says uh, the kid's content had potential for being a big user. Like, no. The kid didn't. The kid, as you showed, made lots of variety content, most of the time with no thumbnails, and it looked like just kind of clips. And also, the kid uploaded line videos publicly. You're just saying that to try and justify your actions. It's clear. We find out the kid was defensive of a show they liked, and TTE Guy talks about how annoying it was. Like, yeah, I can see why, but you can also just block the kid. Number two, racial slurs. Now, the N-word is really controversial to many people. Some don't mind it at all, and some take it very serious. Okay, wow! I did not expect that transition. Look, I I'm not the right person to talk about usage of racial slurs here, but like, yeah, the kids shouldn't have said it. Never thought I would talk about that here, but, uh, yeah. Number three, the kid's sexual fetish. Now, what do I mean when I say that? Well, for the kids watching the video, we're basically going to be talking about the birds and the bees. Why are you talking about sex, my guy? What? So the kid makes sex jokes, which is common for kids trying to be edgy to do. Then he yaps about the kid not being sorry for their actions, even though they cried about it and wrote this apology. And then yaps about the kid having 3k subs and something to do with botting. I I've seen channels that have like 1k and they don't bot, they just sub bag. So I don't understand what this point is. Also, apparently the kid was transphobic, but then later came out as trans. This is a point that Puffball says is weird, but it's also not uncommon for people who transition to have been transphobic themselves. Not like it's right, but I mean, hey, we should be glad that the kid changed and not thinking like, wow, that's so weird. We are halfway through this list, and so far it has been a roller coaster of a ride for kid. Him. And some of these next reasons will go into touchy territory. So buckle up, everyone. Number six. <laughs> we all know that kid transphobic. So what is the most logical thing to do in this case? Did kid. he say sorry? No, he became transgender themselves. Now, in all seriousness, there's nothing wrong with becoming transgender. I have no problem with people that want to become transgender. But for Puffball is fine with trans people. But the video ends with a cover of Thomas songs with the words saying, that's why we can't tell the kid and the blue puffballs all the answer. Like, oh my gosh, this is so cringe. They have an end credit scene. Wait, what? What a video that was. Well, the reception's looking positive. You are wrong. Gordon missing people. Hmm, this sounds important. Turtles and Thomas. I know that guy. Uh, Bosher Studios. Another guy. Maybe. There's one more guy on this list. GWR Studio. Wow, so glad that GWR Studios never happened. So that was the crazy time Blue Puffball tried to cancel an 11 year old kid. Not at all acceptable at all. I can't believe that. He described it to me and I just figured like, oh, it's just a bad person, but no, this was a kid, oh my gosh. But what if I told you it gets even weirder than this? How much you pay for that taco? Hey, yo, you know this, boy, he's got his free taco. The Blue Puffball would go on his Twitter rant about bigger users all being clout chasers. I don't have these clips anymore, so you'll just have to take my word for it. When all this happened, I remember being at my grandparents' house to find out I was featured in a video. This guy makes a fandom announcement featuring Bosher Blue, I forgot this person's name, but I think they were bad? Cosmic, someone I have no idea about, played on pause, and me. I was so shocked. Like, I had talked to this person so little, and this person thought, yeah, I bet they'd be fine with me putting them in a fandom that is a rival to the Thomas fandom. Honestly, 
How do you even get in that mindset? The most I knew about this guy was the cosmic stuff in his Nintendo Direct he made for his channel. He also views himself as Donald Trump of the fandom he made. Like really? Donald Trump? Also, just a Republican fandom? Dude, I've never been a Republican or a Democrat. I think politics are corrupt. And also, I just turned 16 at the time. He also has this list of promises. First rule, you can't be made fun of. No need to ask for permission to use stuff. No more being misjudged, which is a rather weird promise. And you can only feel peace and happiness. I can't feel confused or mad or sad. I got it. I will follow these rules. I wish I could have archived the full video, but when I screen recorded the clip of this, he took it down, which is why it ends so abruptly. I made a tweet saying like, hey, I, I didn't know I was in this and I didn't agree with this stuff. I still had hope for the blue puffball because when I talked to him, he was pretty nice. That day, I kept talking to him and a bunch of stuff just came out. The kid's channel he terminated for using PFP was revealed and the video I You're just going. talked about and all this crazy stuff. And he also broke his promises like day one. But sometime later, he made an apology. The video starts with him getting booed and I just roll my eyes every time. He talks like a US president and it's so dumb in the second time this has happened. He also apologizes for comparing politics to the Thomas fandom while I'm giving a video that is emulating politics. Oh my gosh, dude, do you not realize you're still doing this? Then he apologizes for saying people made bad content and he lost everything now because of it. He says he's a loser, he's the worst person in the Thomas fandom. Like, wow, self-pity moment? He judged a kid for wanting attention, but yet he's doing a lot of it himself. I even got my dead main featured in this video as him apologizing. Um, so, you know, that was a pretty cool thing. He says he has wronged me and others, and he'll continue to upload with no name change at all. Well, he deleted his channel, so that didn't really end up happening. I'm pretty sure the blue puffball hates me, by the way. Not only did I archive his reputation ruining video, I also exposed him for being hypocritical and accidentally caused his Discord server being raided due to my tweet bringing attention to he had a Discord server. And now I'm making this video, which will bring attention back to this two year old drama. So, um, blue puffball, if you're watching this, hi. I know about your other channel you're active on, but if anyone finds that, I, I ask you not to bring up this stuff. It's been two years, and I believe anyone can change to be a good person and learn from their mistakes here. And I'm hopeful he actually has worked on improving, and if he learned from his mistakes, that's great. So let's not remind him of the past. I did not! Mr. Electric, send him to the principal's office and have him expelled! All this stuff here is just dumb internet drama. The only thing we should be concerned about here is him making a video on an 11 year old kid. That is the second weirdest Thomas user I've ever interacted with. I hope my perspective helps more people who maybe want to cover this topic in the future. Like you're welcome to use anything I use in this video if you want to make a video on it. I've just seen some videos that didn't really cover it too well so I'm hopeful that this can be the best video for this topic, at least that I could make. That is the video. Next video, I will make a video where I put a bunch of my friends in it, where we're all part of a rival fandom to the Thomas fandom. Okay, bye! <laughs>